I am what my Bible says that I am. I can do what my Bible says I can do. And I have what my Bible says that I have. My Bible is the word of God. It contains thousands of God's promises. They are all yes and they are amen. They are freely given to me so that I will walk in them and enjoy them. Now by faith, I receive every promise written in this book. In Jesus' name. Say big amen. God bless you. Now greet somebody next to you. Don't be quick to sit without greeting somebody. The person next to you is your brother and is your sister. We are a large family in the Lord. We are brothers in the Lord. Jesus is our big brother. Praise God. And we have a father which is in heaven. And we have a friend. The Holy Spirit. He abides with us. In a beautiful fellowship. And we promote that fellowship. What a blessed day. Praise God. Tell your neighbor. You are blessed to be here today. Gambra Mutaiwa Oto Hikomuchakuba Heri Zova. Tell them again. You are blessed to be here today. And tell them again. Sacred things belong to God. But there are things. Belong to us. Even to our children, children forever. Amen. Amen. Did they hear you what you say? Tell them again sacred things. Belong to God. But the revealed things belong to us. And to our children, children forever. And say, Big Amina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Going back to our teaching, accessing the deep things of God. And this is where we have been today, and we shall not repeat ourselves, but we shall go. Uh, enlightening ourselves on the same scriptures quickly, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. What no eye has seen and what no ear has heard, and what has not come into the heart of any man, the things which God has prepared for those who love Him. I want you to underline the word the things. Things. Those things. God has prepared them for those that love him. What no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and what the heart of any man has perceived, the things which God has prepared for those who love him. My prayer for you and me as we study this your eyes of understanding will be enlightened to those things which belong to us and those things which God has prepared for those who love him me and you 
we have uniqueness that God has designed sacred things deep things in his kingdom for us because we love him non-believers don't know these things don't receive these things they don't discern these things they don't touch these things they don't reach out to these things these are only for us to them these are secrets to them, these are mysteries. But unto us who are mature, this is the wisdom of God. Hidden from the ages of time. But revealed to us now. My desire for you this year, 2023, the Lord is going to open your eyes to see in the deep mysteries of God. In the deep places in God. In the sacred places of God. That you may receive the things which the world cannot have. Do you really see how privileged you are? That grace appeared to you. Do you really think about that? Now, grace is unmerited favor of God in your life. The undeserved favor. Unqualified favor. Which God has given you freely. You don't merit it. You don't qualify for it. You don't deserve it. And God has chosen to give it to you. You think about that? How special you are. Ah, no, 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 no. I, if I were you, after today, I would never let any man look me down. I'll, I'll never go looking down. I'll begin to celebrate Jesus and the abundance of his grace working in me qualifying me for undeserved promises and covenants. Oh no, my Aye. God, my God, open your ears to hear things. My God, open your eyes to see precious things hidden from the landmen of this hour. Amen. Amen. Now, the next verse the Bible says to us that, that these things have been made known. The Holy Spirit has revealed them to us. God has revealed them to us through His Spirit. By the way, if you continue building a very intimate relationship with the person of the Holy Spirit, in a few years from today, you will know too much more than all your brothers and sisters and everybody in your clan. They will be coming to consult you simply because of tapping into these mysteries. And you better enter into that position. That is, that is your heritage. That is your position of inheritance which God has prepared for you. 
And he chose you to these things before the foundations of the earth. Not because of anything good in you. Not because of the family where you are born from. But it is you, you are God's elect by God's choice and grace. Clap for him. John the beloved one day it became too much and he wrote a letter and he says what a manner of love is this that we should be called the children of God. And really that you are born of God that you are a child of God that you have got a father which out in heaven that even if you are orphaned you are not an orphan you may be lacking your biological father but you have your father who is God you will never suffer that orphanage feeling or orphanage spirit my these things be revealed to you and may you walk in your status as a child of God filled with the Holy Spirit washed in the blood of Jesus Christ knowing that your name today as we are talking is written in the book of life. And Jesus said, Rejoice. Because your name, just for your name to belong in that book of life, is enough knowledge to know that you escape the wrath of hell and the judgment of God. Praise God. Glory to God. So the Holy Spirit make us to know these things. Has revealed these things to us. Now every time. You have the Spirit of God revealing mysteries and truth. Your life began to make profit. To bear fruit. To be productive. And that is God's will for you that you will bear much fruit. That's why in the Gospel of John 15 it says, I chose you, do not choose me, and I appointed you. It is God who chose you, and it is God who appointed you, commissioned you, anointed you, that you might go and bear fruit, even much fruit that will remain, and even how to leave you. He chose us, we did not choose him. He appointed us, anointed us, that we can go and bear fruit. From this day, let your life be filled with the fruitfulness. Don't let anything discredit you. Don't let anything take away your joy of salvation. Don't let anybody reduce you from who you are. Don't even let the devil bring you to where you ought to be. Because the one that chose you and qualified you is God the Father by his own grace. So the Holy Spirit 
reveal this mystery to us that God is our Father. Jesus is Lord and is the wisdom of God that was ordained before the foundation of the earth but hidden from many. Now, the Bible says even angels desire to know things which we know. But they cannot. Can you see your position greater than an angel? Those angels. angels. There are some people because of lack of knowledge they start going having wronger doctrine of worshipping angels. Angels were not created to be worshipped. Angels are servants and to the redeemed of God. They were created to serve you. You are above angels in the hierarchy of God. You can call them and they come you can send them on an assignment if you really know if you understand that you will send them and they will, they will obey you and they will do those things you told them to do me I know how to send them Some, when I find I'm struggling I'm lacking money I said I'm giving you 24 hours I need a change I need something to happen because I read in Hebrews that they are ministering spirits to the servants of God. I said, okay. But you see, you must know these things. The non-believers, these are mysteries, secrets which they don't even conceive or perceive. They don't understand angels and their role and their ministry. But now for you, God has given them to serve you, to surround you. In Psalm 91, it says, He will give His holy angels to encompass around those who fear the name of the Lord. I told you last uh, the other week I was in Kampala and then I went to pray for Bishop. And his son has been very stubborn and he had refused to get saved. And all other children they love Jesus, they are all saved. But this one, he says, ah, Bishop, that is your, that's your life, okay? That's not my life. Huh? May, I, may I have my own life? He told the father. Now, just like a year and a half there, he is a driver, he drives trailers. No, he, 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 he was driving a truck. The lorries. The lorry. Then then he hit head on collision with a truck. With, with a trailer. His car was all smashed. Even the impact of his truck on the trailer, it tore the part of a certain tire and part of the trailer. And then the car turned upside down and rolled and it became totally smashed. And even the driver that was in the trailer just died on, on the spot. And 
And he said, he didn't understand. He found himself out of the car. Without even a scratch. Now, the police who came to see the ravage of a car and a truck they said you man God loves you now he said he didn't understand for some time he failed even to connect to be no more for some more good minutes to become real but one word he remembers the police as human God loves you at that moment he says God thank you for loving me Today I give you my life. He got saved instantly. And no one was there to tell him to get saved. He went, he went to his father's family. And told them the story. When they saw the car. Out of the road for, forever. Crushed to nothing. They could only say it was God. And from that day, the man is on fire. The parents are thanking God. His faith. Everybody in the family is shaken by the sickness of the father. He has cancer on the throat. But for his faith is the strongest faith. He believes God can spare anybody from NX. He's not, he's not accepting his father to die. So when I was preaching, he was my greatest supporter. Since God intervened for him, he knew for sure unless God had not sent his angels on that there is no human being who could have survived on that accident no one he still speaks that experience as if it happened yesterday he believes in the angels he said there must have been an angel to cause me to escape I can't tell I will never tell how I came out and hurt he shall give his angels to be charge over you to keep you in all your ways now pray even as you go God's angels shall become your ministering spirits. God's angels shall take charge over you in all your ways. They may encompass you in the darker times of your life when you are in danger, when you are in a critical situation because you are God's child, because you are God's own in the name of Jesus Christ. And because you understand the mysteries surrounding the glory of the kingdom of heaven in Jesus. Now we saw in Deuteronomy 29 and verse 29. God has kept the, the sacred things to himself. The sacred things belong to the Lord our God. But those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever that you may do all the words of this law. 
Luhanga ejo mbona na kajeshi gariza Konkevi suru rigwe Nejitu Hamwe na wanabitu Okujirangu vase kurunde Indagano zechi gambo chie You see when God want to Usher your life to a higher level We luhanga ya yenangwa magaraga wakata hidareli indi He begin To power the spirit of revelation in your life Na atandika kumemera Omoyo okusuru rigo magaraga we He begin to come to you by the spirit of revelation. And some of revelations might come in different ways, like I said. Some of the revelations might come to you in dreams. And you must have the grace and the power and the wisdom to discern and to interpret them. But the work of the Holy Spirit is to help you have interpretation and understanding of what you have received in the Spirit. I said one of the work of the Holy Spirit in your life is to give you revelation of deep things. Now the Bible says those things which are revealed as we saw in Corinthians the Holy Spirit God has revealed these things to us by the Holy Spirit. So those which are revealed they belong to us. This revel revealed things, deep things of God, are given to you so that your life can be ushered into higher level. If God give you a revelation on healing, you will access healing easily as your own inheritance. If God gives you a revelation on the covenant of prosperity, financial prosperity, you will not struggle with the money. And many other covenants, thousands of them which are in the Bible, all those covenants are to us. But those covenants cannot help you if, you if you don't receive understanding of them by the Holy Spirit. So when God wants to upgrade your life, the spirit of revelation will do a major work in your life. He will first of all make you to understand your identity in God. Help you to have your identity redefined differently in accordance to God's will. I said in the previous service, some of you, you are where you are because you do not know you who you are. But when God wants to take you to a higher level, I said, I remember when I was talking about discovering your righteous identity, I said, there are four things that the Holy Spirit will reveal to you. Number one, that the Holy Spirit must ensure that you receive is who God is. That, that is the beginning of a great journey of discovering mysteries about God. Who, who God is. If you don't know who God is, you are not going far. And you must know God holistically. And you must know him by revelation in all his different facets. Today we have so many religious people who know him as a savior, but they don't know him as a healer. They don't know him as a blesser. They don't know him as a God of wisdom. They, they suffer other areas because they don't know. 
Elizo baraba nyadi ni bincha bari kumu manyankar hango mujuni. Tibari kumu manyankori kwa mujisha. Tibari kumu manyanko mchiza. Tibari kumu manyemba jozi ndi zona. Nicho bari kusipa. You know him as Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals us, our healer. Itwe ni tumu manyanka Jehovah Rapha. You know him as Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provides. You, you must at somewhere in the point of your life encounter God as Jehovah Jireh. And that's how Abraham Got to know him and changed his lifestyle. Nitumu manyanka Yehovah Rafa. Mkama rahangori kutuchiza. Tumu manyanka Yehovah ya yire. Rahangori kugabirira. Nipwe Abraham ya mumanyiroso. Riraka mugabirira. Praise God. You, you, you must know him as Jehovah is the Lord, our banner, the Lord who gives us victory. You must know him as a warrior, as a man of war. You identify him also as a, as a man of war, as a warrior in that dimension. And, and, and you begin to become aggressive and you begin to release that power in you, that warfare anointing. There are some people, even demons will come and sit on their head. They come and sit on their food. They come and sit in their bed. They, they, they dominate everything around them and they are quiet. They cannot release the supernatural authority of God because they don't see God as a man of war. They no never see him as a warrior. No te kwa kumuma nyanka yehova ni silu hangabe endera yitu. Omuma nyanka yehova, omu gwani, oruku gwani rentaro za wazodna. Ari waba mwe, stani na ishe kustama hamutwe. Estama hajo kutia gawe. Estama hariburichi mwe chawe. Ogumano leba bati. Havo kujangu tori kumuma nyanka. Asta me hama gara gawe, oi chiris. Asta me hama shwera wawe, oi chiris. Asta me hama nabawe, oi chiris. Asta me hama minimo yawe, efech riyon. Come on. No. Nga ha. I said no. You better rise up one of the morning and say, devil, you are in a wrong place. You, you, you went to a wrong address. Out of my life in Jesus' name. You know that demons will hear and they will go. He gave us power to cast demons out. I said he gave us the power to cast out the demons out. When you know him as a man of war. When you know him as God Almighty. No other evil spirit will take dominance on your life. You shall drive devils out. Jesus came driving demons out because he understood who he is. Sickness out of your life in the name of Jesus. Diseases out of your life in the name of Jesus. Poverty out of your life. Poverty is not yours. Sickness is not yours. Failure is not yours. Stagnation is not yours. Prosperity is yours. South Amina. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. We caraca so can be with Stani. So, hora, oh, Jenda, we see Nariasu, Rukamba, Navanja, Rukamu, Shizawan. Every day you are crying on Shizaku Terem, Takak Teremsa, Akak Samba, Kakterani, Dakak Terum, Ohunami, Iwem Kasiwe, Imukoswara Mani, Obomuan, or Missina is Christo, so has a demon out of your family. Are you crazy? Who has bewitched you? No, I could not. Om kazi mchikaru chuo kwe karaka saka ba seriousi na kuata kasha ukeyo ingine na naje na makagande ma no zahi omrebe. Where are you going? Can you stand and save your family? Hey! The woman instead of being bold and you fight for your family, you get Listen. your back. Save your family, be close, be stronger. Number two, you must know who you are in Christ. You are the anointed one. You are the redeemed one. You are the elect of God. You are the chosen one of God. Are you hearing me? Father has you have it. Can it go in 
no, 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 you are not hearing me. Whatever belongs to your father is yours. I said whatever belongs to our father is ours. That's why Jesus said whatever you ask the father in my name, he will give it to you. Somebody shout Amina. Hallelujah. Why? Because you are a son of God. Whatever you ask the Father, Jesus said in my name, you will have it. It shall be done unto you. Oh, is in Jesus' Christ. Oh, is in Jesus' name. Oh, is in Jesus' name. You shall have revelation of the power in that name. Did you know that he has been given a name above all other names? At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Sickness will bow, disease will bow, poverty will bow, cancer shall bow, COVID-19 shall bow. I say the cancer shall bow. It's until you have that revelation knowledge that the authority in the power and in the name of Jesus will begin to work for you. Somebody shout and say, I'm a son of God. Whatever is of my father is mine. If your father in heaven is not poor, poverty will never know your address again. Come on, listen to me. Come on. This is just not what we preach. This is what we live. This is life. And where there is death, let it get out of you. If the devil has told you you are going to die, postpone that death in the name of Jesus today. You are not dying. Death is dying. In Jesus' name. I said you are not dying. Death is dying. Hallelujah. Listen. Did you read the simple scripture? For God so loved the world. And whosoever believes in him shall not die. Can you believe it for once? I know it is too good for you to believe. You shall not die. You shall have eternal life. Come on, if you hear the sound of my voice, receive eternal life. I said, receive eternal life. I said, receive eternal life. I said, receive eternal life. Receive eternal life. Come on, receive eternal life in Jesus' name. And operate in that rhyme, in that understanding, in that light. Walk in that light. 
Walking that light. Jesus said, whoever walks in the light, he shall not stumble. I declare this year, 2023, because of the greater light of God, by his revelation, by his truth, by his word, by the prophetic word, by prophetic revelations and understanding, you will not stumble in the name of Jesus. I said, you shall not stumble in the name of Jesus. You shall not stumble. You shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, I got it at tea. We're not a room of Shana, Tariba, Sakira, Sibo, Nahabreton in the Antirida, or Mamakan Kumi, Rabini Shatu, Taribis of Terra Sibo, Ahabama Shanago, or Boksuriba, or Koya, or Mazina Gayatu. One day, this great light shone in my heart. Shanago Mizukasama Timaguanti. I have never remembered. Those days when things used to come and suppress me. I, I, I also got saved and I didn't know the light, the, I didn't walk in the light and some things would come and sleep on me. And I feel I want to say Jesus and I can't. And some of you have been saved even one, two, three years and you are still a victim of demonic oppression. I rebuke you and I ask you who bewitched you. Arise in the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus and walk in the freedom that belongs to you by Christ Jesus. Somebody shout a big amen. Oh. what you have in Christ I pray that the, the Lord revealed you things that have been freely given to you what you have the power that 
raised Jesus Christ belong to you. That's why the apostle said, I pray the eyes of your understanding might be enlightened that you might know your higher calling, the hope in which I've been called, that you might know the hope of your calling. Hallelujah. And that you may know the riches in the glory of God prepared for the saints. Every rich in glory. All riches in the glory land. All the riches available in the glory of God. They are meant for you. Every treasure in the glory of God is yours as a child of God. I came to submit that you are not ordinary. And may you walk in your identity today. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. What do you have? Incomparable advantages. You have Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in you is the hope of glory. Others can lack at the glory of God. But as for you, you are the embodiment of his greater glory. The embodiment of greater Shekinah glory. You are the embodiment of the revealed glory of heaven. Wherever you stand, there is a manifestation of a greater glory of God. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Glory appears on your clothing. Glory appears on your skin as Moses. Glory appears in your house. Glory appears on your children. Glory appears in your life everywhere, every day, every moment. You have the Holy Spirit. If you have the Holy Spirit, you have all God. You have all God in you. You have the Trinity in you. God has made his abode. God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, and God the Son have chosen to make an abode in you. I pray the Nyabinjis of your village will know who you are from today. What do you have? The anointing of the Spirit. The Spirit of Revelation. The faith of God. The blood of Jesus. The angels of God. Really, are you lacking anything? You are complete in Christ Jesus. You are complete in Christ. Lacking nothing. And number four, you must always know what you can do. Now that you have all these treasures and riches in you, what can you do in this generation? What can you do in What can you do in this generation? What can you do in your family? What can you do in Kabale? What can you do in your village? What can you do in your community? May the Lord open your mind to the hidden secrets of his kingdom for you and for your children. children. I can't go beyond this. Hallelujah! 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 
Yetu Kacho Wanu Vichimanyan where is over. Mukama Komorire, Havok Suri Wakomo or Quera, Omizina Res Christu. Amina, Amina. Abakuro jirebo na bara izak kwese njereza ngu mazima otu sasire amagara gitu karukwere cherera kuira tu atani chiro kuroga ninye na kuro jere nintu etu akwa njire tuka kusindikire viroji kwonka mazima otu yambe otu shavire nintu etu renda kubache ama anabi itu barukwere cherera evi ye sente zitu zika jenda kuira tu atani chiro kuroga evi nitu vitu viona vya shushkara I pray you shall become untouchable in the mighty name of Jesus, for whoever touches you is touching the apple of God's eye. In the mighty name of Jesus, and the Bible that already told me, touch not my anointed one and do no harm to my prophet. Whoever touches you, he will die before others realize. Whoever chases you, he will become like a non existent thing. Today, release the super abundance grace of God upon your life, I release the prophetic anointing upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, yeah, 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 yeah. Ni shaba, no isha kuhinduka. O tarikwa ho, o mizina ya Yesu. When ora kwatwa ho, na isha kumaya kola. Ahamba ne yari shodiar hanga. People yanda ne nchira. O ta kola, aha shuti wa majuta waru hanga. Ora kola ho we na na isha kufa ata chimanyere. O mizina ya Yesu, aha kumi we tariku kwatwa ho. O mizina ya Yesu, o ta shuti wa majuta. Not my anointed, says the Spirit of the Lord. Do no harm to my prophets. Today I cast a prophetic mantle on everybody at the sound of my voice. I cast a prophetic mantle upon you by the word of faith, by the prophetic authority in the mighty name of Jesus, by the apostolic decree and might and power. I cast a prophetic mantle upon you in the name of Jesus. And whoever touches you is touched. Touching a prophet of God in the name of Jesus, and the judgment will not delay in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Malai doza daya, the word of God and the power of the scriptures can never be broken. So I establish you in the prophetic mantle, in the prophetic anointing to go and win and live a winning life now and forever. In <laughs> Jesus name. <laughs> When I quit the hole, I shall talk or once. I have got a honey pan, what a cola. I had another one say, or I quit the hole. They shall come at the same way. Can't have seen to go to once. Oh, me, Zina Gaya to Christo, oh, man of our hunger. Amina. Hallelujah. Quata Timicha Kumicha when it's a way of Missina Yasu. If you are here, you are not saved, you want to give your life to Christ Jesus, raise up your hand and I pray for you. Lift your hand and I pray for you. In Jesus' name. There is the other girl, come here. Anybody who is not saved, or you backslid, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Maureen, come and pray for this girl, and never to backslid again, release a supernatural anointing too much that she cannot even manage to backslide, in Jesus' name, praise God, take hand leader, in Jesus name praise God get your tithe and get your friend and before we go 